Hi, I'm Dr. Gavin Harris, and here are three things you should know about the ongoing Ebola outbreak in Uganda. One, on November 28th, Uganda reported its first new case of Sudan Ebola virus in 11 days, and two of the nine districts in Uganda affected by the current outbreak have not reported new cases for more than six weeks, twice as long as the incubation period for the virus. The weekly number of confirmed cases reported has decreased for the third consecutive week, and also on November 28th, the Ministry of Health in Uganda reported a total of 142 and at least 20 probable cases. Among those are 56 laboratory-confirmed deaths. Among the confirmed cases, this would indicate a case fatality rate of at least 39%, though the actual rate is likely closer to 50%. Two, the WHO has recommended that three Sudan Ebola virus vaccine candidates be included in planned ring vaccination trials in Uganda this month. Uganda's Ministry of Health agreed with the recommendation and trials will begin as soon as the first vaccine candidates arrive in country. Target participants for the trial will be people at highest risk of infection due to the nature of their work and close contact with infected people, including healthcare workers. Three, thus far, there have been 19 confirmed and seven deaths among healthcare workers in Uganda, accounting for 13.4% of cases and 12.7% of all deaths. Throughout this outbreak, concerns have existed with regards to access to personal protective equipment and lack of adequate pay for healthcare workers and over 1,000 of those who work in several affected regions have planned a strike on December 2nd. Multiple international teams, including several from the United States, remain on the ground to assist with outbreak response. And while data would suggest the outbreak appears to be leveling off, it is essential that healthcare workers in the U.S. maintain an adequate level of alertness for the prompt identification of any suspect cases. To learn more about the Sudan Ebola virus and to get healthcare-related resources, visit us on the web at netech.org.